Some way or the other, Max Verstappen seems to be dominating headlines week in and week out. In the latest update, the current World Drivers' Championship title winner has signed on with Red Bull for a further seven years till the year 2028. In today's video, we'll be discussing Max Verstappen's newest deal with Red Bull and other F1 news. Stay tuned! First up, the record-breaking deal. World champion in 2021, Max Verstappen has signed an unprecedented contract extension of five years with Red Bull. With the extension in place, the deal will keep Verstappen associated with them till the end of 2028, at the very least. A contract that would have kept him with Red Bull till the 2023 season was already in place following a contract extension signed between them in early 2020, but coming off a fantastic 2021 season, both the world champion and his team were interested in extending what has gone on to become a very successful partnership. For the seven-year time period that entails the newest deal, it is believed that is by far the longest deal between a driver and a team in all of F1 history. To give you an idea of how long it really is, the second longest agreement in F1 is that of Lando Norris, which itself only runs till the 2025 season. The Dutchman's coming off a fiery 2021 season that saw him win the Drivers' Championship title on the last lap of the last race of the season. Joining Red Bull in 2016, the 24-year-old beat Lewis Hamilton at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix season finale and controversial circumstances to win his first World Championship. Speaking immediately after winning the World Championship, Verstappen said that he wanted to remain associated with the team for the coming 10 to 15 years. Only a short while after these comments, Helmut Marko, the motorsport boss of Red Bull, confirmed that they were working on an extension to the current deal. Before the deal could be confirmed officially by either Verstappen or the Red Bull team, it was reported that the new contract might see the Dutchman earning a whopping $50 million per year. Despite the fact that the team has lost their technical Honda support, they have been busy in the off-season break, concluding a couple of major sponsorship deals, which include a deal with software giant Oracle for title sponsorship and a $150 million sponsorship deal with the cryptocurrency exchange platform Bybit. These deals together, combined with a recent cost cap implemented by the F1 governing body, FIA, to restrict expenditure, has meant that the Red Bull team has both the money and the confidence to go all out in keeping a hold on their star driver. Verstappen, speaking after the contract extension deal was announced, said that he loves the team and he enjoys being a part of the Oracle Red Bull Racing family, and so the decision to sign on to the 2028 season was quite the easy one. He reflected on the team's incredible 2020 season, seeing as they achieved this goal of winning the championship, brought them together in the 2016 season. He went on to say that with one goal out of the way, the new goal is to hold on to the number one spot on a long-term basis. Next, new deal and the power unit regulations. The contract extension means that Red Bull will be having Verstappen services into the first three seasons of the recently introduced power unit regulations, which will come into effect in the 2026 season. Thinking long-term, Red Bull has formed the Red Bull powertrains division that will be working explicitly on a project that would work along well with the new rules. The benefits to having the hottest prospect in Formula One racing for a long time has its benefits that Red Bull will try to exploit. The team will try to use the advantage of having Verstappen on board in their negotiations with the Volkswagen Group concerning the power unit supply, not only in negotiations with the VW Group, but it would give them a strong hand in discussions with any major manufacturer who would be willing to be the engine makers of Red Bull's car. Team principal of Red Bull, Christian Horner, has said that Verstappen Verstappen's decision to sign the contract extension is great news, and the team will now only be focused upon ensuring that Verstappen retains his World Drivers Championship title, while at the same time having the certainty that he is going to be reigning a part of the long-term plans of the team. According to Horner, the extension was a priority to ensure that they had the best driver on the circuit, driving the car that they've been working on for the 2026 season at the Red Bull Powertrains division. Fun fact, Verstappen could very well outlast his team boss, Horner at Red Bull considering the fact that Horner's contract, which was also recently extended, runs till only 2026. Will Verstappen end up being a lifer? Without things are playing out, there's a very real possibility that Verstappen could end up being a lifer at Red Bull. And it might very well be poetic, considering that this is the team that took a chance on a 16-year-old who was driving in his first season in the Formula 3 and got him to debut his Formula 1 drive with Toro Rosso. The same team that promoted him to the A team in only his second season, and for which he won his very first race and most importantly, the team that helped him earn his maiden world championship title. With so many of his first in F1 coming with Red Bull, perhaps it wouldn't be too bad if he ends up achieving all of his last in F1 too. After the 2028 season, by the time his current deal runs out, Verstappen will have turned 31 years old and would be a veteran of nearly 14 seasons in Formula One, nearly 300 race starts, and very probably a considerable number of wins to add to his tally of 20 at this point in time. So long as Red Bull manages to remain one of the powerhouse teams in F1, 
Wilson, it seems highly unlikely that Verstappen would not add more titles to his 2021 maiden title, and if we're being honest, it might even be a little scary to think what else the promising Dutchman could achieve by then. Now another F1 news. F1 cancels the contract with Russian GP promoter. Formula One has made an official announcement declaring that it has canceled its contract with the Russian Grand Prix promoter, which effectively, in simplest terms, says that as of right now, the motorsport has scrapped all plans to have any future races in the country. This announcement has come in the days following the Russian invasion of Ukraine and is in tune with F1's decision announced a week ago, saying that it would not be holding the Russian Grand Prix, scheduled for September 2022. The original deal signed by the F1 to have the Grand Prix in Russia was struck nearly eight years ago in 2014 between the former CEO of F1, Bernie Ecclestone, and the longtime Russian president, Vladimir Putin. The contract was supposed to run until the year 2025. In the past, Putin has made appearances on the podium, handing out trophies to the top three in the 2014 and 2015 seasons. Next, Wolf takes more shots at Massey and Red Bull. Despite the race director, Michael Massey, being relieved of his job in F1, the controversy around his actions in the season-ending Abu Dhabi GP refuses to die out, with Mercedes team boss Toto Wolf once again taking shots at the former director and Red Bull. According to Wolf, Massey and Jonathan Wheatley, the sporting director at Red Bull, has struck up some sort of bromance over the course of the 2021 season, and this, in his opinion, was the key factor that led to Massey's decisions being biased towards the Red Bull team. He further went on to say that Wheatley didn't turn Massey in the title decider, but also in prior races, and Max Verstappen definitely owes him a lot. Wolf has also made it very clear that he has not spoken to the under-fire former race director, nor does he plan on talking to him ever again. He added that he believes that Massey knows what he did was wrong, and he most surely must regret them. He went on to criticize the FIA as well, saying that the governing body should have seen that there were problems in structure. According to Wolf, when he looks at all the after-effects of the Abu Dhabi GP, he can only feel sympathy for Verstappen, considering the fact that despite him getting his hands on the world championship title, all that anyone talks about is the Abu Dhabi GP and Massey's decisions. Lastly, Mazepin can only drive under a neutral flag. With the newest F1 regulations coming into place, Russian Formula One driver Nikita Mazepin would be prohibited from driving under the flag of Russia. He would additionally also be required to put down his signature on a document that would forbid him from supporting the Ukrainian invasion by the Russian Federation if he chooses to remain a part of Formula One. It is expected that the Russian driver will lose his seat as a driver for Haas, but for now the situation's still in the air and he still is officially their driver. All drivers, regardless of their nationality, will be required to be signatories to a declaration that they would adhere to the principles of peace and neutrality as ascertained by FIA. And that's a wrap for this video. Hey, we'll see you in the next one.